is Patrick and welcome to some more Tesla news. You're watching Tesla Trip. It's been a while, so there's some pretty interesting stories that have been happening over the past couple weeks and most currently past couple days. Elon Musk has tweeted out that Auto Park is coming soon. So this is Smart Summon in reverse where you can go get out of your car at the front of a store and it will go search for a parking spot and park. Now, Elon said that it may be a little bit silly at first and might actually park in parking spaces that are not real parking spaces. And the way I see it is this is the pretty much the only way they're going to get enough neural net, net data to really determine what really is a parking spot and what isn't. If they leave it in-house, it's going to take years before they get this thing right. But if they roll it out to the active user base to try out and closely monitor it and be beta testers, Hopefully, they'll be able to get something that's more functional sooner. So, I don't know. I can't wait. It'll be fu it'll be a fun party trick to start out with, but will become something actually useful in some several months or maybe a year or two. <laughs> Who knows? When you're doing something that's never been done before, it's hard to really put a um, time scale on it. And I know Elon's usually very ambitious with his Elon standard time, Maybe his time frame will be a little bit more realistic now. Elon also tweeted out that customized horn and movement sounds, coconuts, um, are coming soon, as well as fart noises. This is to help people be aware of electric vehicles because they are so quiet when running, you just cannot hear them otherwise. It was also pointed out that it needs to be directional horns. So that's something they'll probably put in uh, upcoming models so that the car can honk in the front or the back or fart in the front or the back so you know which way to get out of the way. Uh, it was also pointed out that Advanced Summon, when it was in beta, did a lot of driving in reverse because it was the most efficient way of getting where it needed to go, but beta testers said that was very confusing to people and scary because they'd see this car with nobody in it rolling backwards. <laughs> so they corrected the algorithm so that it tries to do much forward driving as possible, and it's more like a real human. So it's, it's it's interesting, and, and real humans honk at people when they're in the way, and so that's something that needs to come with the smart summon and the full self-driving here in the future. Tesla truck news, Elon tweeted out that all the designs that are coming up, it seems like there's a new one every week on what the Tesla truck's going to look like, aren't even close. He says that it's going to be like a more uh, cyber truck, uh, military type in vehicle. We'll have to see. It sounds like November next month is still when they're planning on releasing the initial design. They're going to unveil it. And my guess is it'll be at least two years out from that based on Model 3 and Y and X. They, they took about two years after the unveiling to come out. The Tesla Semi and Roadster unveiling was about two years ago, and it still hasn't come out yet. So just take that with a grain of salt, um, and we'll, we'll see when that's actually going to happen. So there's a new Tesla Model 3 fob that finally came out that has passive entry. I purchased it for my wife and it works great. It's just like a normal fob for an S or an X. You can do it um, summon with it back and forth. You walk up to the doors and they unlock like they should. My wife's always had trouble with the phone. I think it's because she keeps it in her purse with other objects around it so it doesn't work great. Then I've also got the ring that we made. Uh, so she's making those and she's actually doing some really cool ones where they've got pigment in them so that she can make them kind of like a metallic looking uh, dark metal. And even though it can't really be metal and the weight of it is, it isn't too light because of the metal inside of it. And she's making it for people right now. Clear ones are 75 or the tinted ones are a hundred bucks if you don't want to make your own. So just shoot me an email, uh, pat.lawson at wildwestev.com and she'll, she can hook you up with with some rings, if you give her the ring size and whatnot. New black wheels. They are standard now on the Tesla Model 3, and they switched up the pricing. So now, instead of 240 miles for the standard range plus, uh, it's 250 miles, it went up $500, it's $1,000 more for the performance, and you get these black rims, or wheels. So they, they kind of updated the pricing a little bit, also, you only need to put $100 down to order any Tesla. You no longer have to put down a larger deposit, uh, like the $2,500. Uh, 
and you still have the ability to cancel it, and all you ever lose is your $100. Uh, it sounds like it's a fee to you know order it now as opposed to a deposit. A little bit different. This just happened last night, and I'm actually looking at getting a Model X seven-seater because I have a new addition to my family, and so I might be doing that as well. We'll see how that, that turns out. Uh, speaking of the Model X, uh, there was an article showing how awesome Smart Summon is for somebody in a wheelchair and that the Tesla Model X was like the best vehicle. For I have a link to that whole video if you want to watch that as well. Also some really cool videos from Tesla's Crash Lab that came out that shows how they were able to get these incredibly high safety ratings on all the Teslas and it's, it's super impressive. You have to take a look at that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please use my referral link below. It's just code Patrick. 4254 when ordering a Tesla you'll get a free thousand miles of supercharging or if you're getting an S and X they are doing free supercharging right now and they will enter you in for a drawing for a Roadster or a Model Y if you use a referral code and Elon tweeted out that full self-driving is going up by another thousand dollars now that they got advanced summon shipping that's November 1st so if you want to get in on the tax credit get in on the lower cost of full self-driving and uh, if you just want to get a Tesla, now's the time. Uh, the Raven updates for the S and X are out. Model 3's just ramping up. It's not. It's going to be a while before any of the big updates come out. Plaid is probably going to come out in 2020, is what Elon was saying. That's the extra motor in the S and X that'll go faster than Ludicrous, but it'll be more expensive than the current offerings. So... Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't and share this video with your friends. I will see you guys again next time. Thanks. Bye.